Hi, welcome back to another live episode of Detail of I'm joined again today with Bill and John in the bottom just down there. We've also got a couple of guys from Arva. I think I pronounced that right. Pressure washers. Oh. So, uh, yeah, make sure you get your questions in now before you get those guys joining us. So, yeah. Hello, John and Bill. Not seen you for... It's been four weeks since we last did our live, so surely we've all been up to something yep. in the last four weeks. <laughs> well, I, I'm, I have. I'm, hi, Matt. It's been about 12 hours since I've seen you last. Oh, I know. Five-minute chat last night for an hour and a half. <laughs> Yeah, you, oh, yeah, can I we know. just point out as well before we do get into this? John's amazing fish tank in the background. Yeah, it's amazing. It's amazing. It looks like a TV. <laughs> yeah. Come on, then, guys. What have you been up to? What have you been up to for the last four weeks? Uh, what have I been up to? I I managed to do a bit of detailing on, on a on a family heirloom. Okay. So we had, we had a, a, an old Rolls Royce. That's a, that's a, a hand me down family heirloom type vehicle that was very dusty and very green. It had been sat outside for a while. And a family member said to me, Can I can I do something with that? So I've been having some fun with the polisher actually. With the fine weather over the weekend, I got the polisher out and had a go with the actually I had a go with the, the done and dusted turtle wax stuff. Is that the the, the black the new stuff? The, the new stuff completely Polish, well done, done compound, yeah. It's good stuff, that. I love and, that um, at the moment. Actually, I have to say, I started off with, with, with a, with a diff, couple of different polishes and thought, oh, I'll give it a go. The, the paint's not in bad order. It just was just needed some freshening yeah. up. And I thought, oh, tried a few other things. And then I thought, you know what? I'm, I'm, I'm going to have a crack at that. And just had a go. I, was, I was actually really amazed at how good it really is. It, it, it does a fantastic job, and the car came out looking really good and, and in minimal what time. What did you use, rotary or DA? DA. DA. Not that it really matters, yeah. I suppose, but yeah, I've done a lot with it with the UNOS actually um, using that. Yeah. Hello, John. Sorry, we're leaving out the conversation, right? Uh, you mean the five, the five, the five in one? The, the user defined the, the rotary stroke. and all the different DA sets. Yeah, that one. That's right. It's yeah. Still, still yeah. sat on my desk. Sorry, I didn't send it. To yeah. So you... <laughs> yeah. What's he like? I was thinking, sure, he wants to keep hold of that. Yeah, it's getting oh, yeah, closer. I, I had a go. I had a go with. Um, is it new look? Because the the tires on, on the rolls had um, they had like a white stripe. Dodo juice. So they weren't white. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. They weren't white walls, but they were kind of had that white stripe round, and it was really dirty. Right. Um, and I, I, what I'll do is I'll, I'll try and post some pictures later on on Detailing World or whatever, and, and show you the difference. But I mean, I think. Certainly, I put a couple of pictures up of the tyres on my own feed, and really an amazing difference. They look almost like they're brand new tyres. I think I see the pictures today of the wheels, and then I did see yeah. last week you posted a picture of the rolls, and I was actually going to comment. It's like, are these wheels that car that you posted last week? So they're, they're, the, they're the two yeah. the same, are they? Cool. And I'm sure John must have some news from the headquarters. I tried out the, uh, I tried out the Dodo Juice stuff on the tyres. The one that Don't you were mind. talking about the week before. No, the cleaner. Oh, no. Yeah. yeah, tried that out. I tried the Dark Matter out. Yeah. Um, what else have I done? Uh, oh, I tried the bug remover out because I had some bugs on the front. Yeah. That was pretty good. Worked well. Um, what else? I did something else as well. Uh, oh, there was a... Ah, ah, cabin crew. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. The, the interior uh... cleaning. That was super nice. strong yeah, i used really i find it yeah very strong. it was it, it was it was good it cleaned cleaned the interior of the golf really nice um and anything else you, um, um, i used a couple of stiana gloss bits go back. i was going to say there the was, m3 there, there was a stiana gloss giveaway as well this week wasn't there with like a pink can was it a there pink was. can was that again i seen I that was that a giveaway that the last yeah, one was... I won, and he, did, and he wouldn't let me have it. He gave it to someone else. So, uh, <laughs> the, and this week, this time I didn't win. Going so, back to the dark cool. matter, though, is it that is amazing? Mm -hmm. Would you agree? Yeah, I've like, I've seen yeah, quite yeah, a I few think... people talk about it lately, and it is like the probably it's... the best tire dressing mm. at the moment. I think, and it's not just banging on oh, dodo juice like because it. they've like refreshed and or oh, you must promote dodo juice or anything like that. It genuinely is amazing. Uh, yeah. and, and, yeah, and this is nothing. This is nothing, by the way. This is nothing to do with the fact that there's a pressure washer talk tonight. <laughs> but my big Karcher diesel pressure washer has sprung a leak. Oh no! And uh, I need to get the Karcher pressure washer diesel 
people out to look at the leak. So um, <laughs> it's leaking from the handle. Oh, so nice. uh, so yeah. So I, I gave uh, I gave a car. I gave the M3 a wash. I gave the Golf a wash and gave myself a wash at the same time because every time I pulled the trigger, it was pouring water everywhere. Um, I snow phoned myself and the car. As you do. Uh, yeah, but did did both the cars at the weekend and uh, finished them off with uh, one with Z8 and one with Beep Maker. No. You, you had a good tip about snow foaming as well, John. Yeah, don't do it into the wind <laughs> because if you do it into the wind, you actually become a snowman. Yeah, definitely. Uh, I'm trying to see what I've done over the last... Because it's been super busy. Did my cousins... Oh, yeah, this week's video is going to be an amazing one. Like... I don't know if you've ever seen it, John. You've detailed a lot of cars. This car has stitching marks. Like, you've just been cut open. You've had your appendix out. Really? I'm not even joking. Okay. It's like someone's gashed wow. the rear quarter, filled it, and then stitched it. There's a defect on every panel. It's just mental. The, the, the important thing to know was, don't buy a car when it's raining. It bought it when it was raining. Black mm. car, and it looked immaculate. There's, on the front wing, I don't really, well, I've, I've got, I'll tell you, no, I don't want to give it away, but yeah. On the front wing, someone's clearly painted the alloys or the calipers, put masking tape on, and overspray everywhere. And there's a perfect line. Wow. Mask. Shocking. But it makes for a good video. <laughs> I, I yeah, the absolutely. Worst, the worst, uh, the worst one I had to polish was uh, was a lady who was helping her husband out on his uh, Mercedes SL 500 while he was away. There was some uh, Canadian geese had uh, done their business right. on it, and she she tried to get it off with a sponge. It wouldn't come off, so she got one of the scourers from the kitchen and uh, basically scoured the whole car. Where some all the of the car, crap basically. off. <laughs> <laughs> it looked great until it dried. Then it didn't look so good, and it took a few hours to sort that out for us. Christ, oh, but that was about the worst. That's amazing, that's amazing. Uh, so, yeah, oh, and then what else we got? Oh, and this week, I'll be detailing another Merc, actually, using, it's like a seamless segue, using Ava pressure washers. Ava, Ava pressure washers, let's pronounce it. Ava. 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 Sorry, AVA. Ava. That's AVA. AVA pressure washers. I don't know what they stand for. So, so. I think you've got a you've you've got a selection I am, somewhere there, actually. man. So are you gonna be using all of all three no, of them? No, so my plan is I'm gonna use the big P sixty P sixty master, I think, this weekend. Yeah. Because it feels quite weighty. I'm not even took out of the box because it's so well packaged. And then I think the weekend after I've actually I'm gonna go up the road to do a detail like half a mile. So I'm gonna take I think it's a P fifty five. Yeah, well it's it looks like the smaller form factor. We'll bring the guys in in a minute to explain. It looks like the yeah. smaller form factor and footprint, but I quickly looked at the specs and it was like 10, <coughs> 10 litres an hour more and 10 bar PSI. I can't remember. 10 extra on pressure was also. It's actually the middle of the range, but form factor wise, it looks quite small. That was the P55. So I'm going to take that. So, But yeah, so speaking of... Speaking of pressure washers, I think we'll bring the guys in if they're ready. So, um, yeah, welcome. We've got uh, William and Morton from Arva um, over in Norway. So they're a bit ahead of us. So thanks for staying up, guys. And mm. thanks for hey, joining yeah, us. Doing? Good you. evening. Good evening. Right. So, yeah, what am I right in saying there, then, with the P55? I think it's that one just behind you there, William, to your, on your right. That yeah. is the smaller form factor but possibly the middle of the range in terms of specs will that be right i know you're going to talk about these later on but yeah <laughs> it's really it's completely filled with it with a massive pump and yeah. motor inside so it's a lot of power yeah. inside a very small i suppose we'll, yeah, we call we'll... it go for that because the whole point of the go series is to sort of take the, the mid-range power that like you describe and then throw in the boot of your car when yeah. you're going up the road for a job and then You've got your whole range or your whole uh, sort of selection of power there with you ready yeah, to go. Yeah, I suppose so, we'll go through the whole series in just a moment. You said you was just going to introduce us a little bit about you guys, and you've got some footage to show us as well, I believe. Yeah, I think we can maybe take the footage a little bit later, yeah. but um, so I'm working mostly in the UK uh, with sort of everything, I guess you could say. In Norway, we call ourselves potatoes because potatoes are good with everything, so that's what I do in all of <laughs> <laughs> Is the big boss so morton is the brains of behind the operations so i think <laughs> he can really take sort of the the short story of the all the all the adventure why we're here what we thought 
I know? promise to take it very shortly. But in yeah. 2014, I started uh, and want to make something new, something different. Uh, so, so since uh, then, uh, we used four years to 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 do the development, mm -hmm. to to learn from the customer, uh, and since we want to make the very best thing, then we had to learn from the detailers because that is the most demanding customer we have in Norway, and I'm sure that's the same way in in, in yeah. UK. So, so, uh, and and the details are so good to 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 discuss and to share the the, the experiences. Uh, so, so that was in we, when we launched in 2018. Mm -hmm. uh, we had huge success just because we started looking for details, and and uh, it was very good reception of of the product. Yeah, yeah. One of every two Alva pressure or pressure washers in Norway is an Alva, so we've really taken the market by storm. Okay. So look, look out here in a couple years in the UK. That's what we're hoping for. Mm. So, you know, you guys could uh, have the honor of being the first ones to introduce us. So uh, pretty exciting. But I think um, the big the big way to summarize Alva, you know, in one sentence is it's quality. It's made to last. And so everything is everything is think through thoroughly. You know, every detail down from the bottom, the bottom tilt resistance, you know, to the follow me, uh, hose reel, you know, to the details on the foam cannon, everything is sort of has a reason, it's well placed, it's, um, yeah, you know, we just uh, designed everything with the consumer in mind. I should say, when, when we st started introducing uh, uh, or, or making the new, the new uh, pressure washers, we asked the customer, what are your demands? And uh, the three most annoying things from the, for, uh, was told from the customer was uh, the, the hoses, which were bending, so we, of course, introduced uh, the steel reinforced hoses, mm -hmm. uh, not unique, but in combination with all the other functions, this is, uh, is, uh, makes it very good. Mm -hmm. uh, the polymer hose reel uh, is a part of making the, the pressure washer steady. Uh, also, you have this, uh, this uh, stabilizer in front, prevented yeah. uh, from, from falling in front. Yeah, I don't know if you guys can see it so well, so, but yeah. you know, the, whole, the whole point is that this thing can really... <laughs> really go pretty far with uh, <laughs> your accessories might have fall the foam can should be in your hand exactly. when you're using yeah. it so, yeah, so, right. so, uh, <laughs> so that was uh, not that long uh, and, and also uh, pressure was breaking down too fast you know that before year 2000 they were, were massive it was small massive uh, and lots of power mm -hmm. and some time after year 2000 uh, it was not the engineers making the pressure wash anymore. It was the, the, so the salesmen, <laughs> the you know? salesmen and the, the, uh, the financial guys. Yeah. So we yeah. had to mm -hmm. make them much bigger and much more plastic. Mm -hmm. And we, in some way, we go back uh, to, to the, uh, to the, the, uh, yeah, the good old days. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, still, we have a um, new pump technology, mm -hmm. uh, four piston pumps, six piston pumps on the, on the major, the big uh, models, uh, makes much lower noise level okay. mm -hmm. and it decreases okay. the life length significantly. Yeah. Mm. I think you guys have, if you've spent any time over on our website, we're pretty proud of our warranty uh, situation where the, with the master series and our bigger pressure washers, we offer up to a 20 year warranty. Yeah. Um, we're, uh, I think, Probably one of the longest warranties in the world for for sort of a domestic level product, and uh, you know, don't take that lightly. That's a pretty serious statement. But we truly do believe these products are designed to be designed to last you for decades, right? So you buy yourself an Ava and uh, an Alva, excuse me, I can't even. <laughs> now I'm saying Ava, uh, uh, buy yourself an Alva, and you've got yourself an investment for decades to come, right? So. so, what about in terms of servicing it then? So obviously it's got a 20 year warranty. Um, it, do you have to have it serviced by a professional or can you self-service or is there any any anything like that that the customer may have to do themselves during the lifetime of the machine so what we want is that everything can be done by the customer but of course there are people out there that don't want to bother with it or maybe they don't have the time know how they, they think they don't at least yeah. you know it's a couple of screws on the back and you've got the case off and that's just to this and that and you're pretty good to go we've got a video made we've got pdf files ready to go i'm pretty sure my grandma could do it uh to put it that way um i haven't asked her but maybe one of the better ask video about that but every five years we ask that the customer does a pump service and um you know replace some o-rings some spare parts or wear down parts that type of stuff pretty standard operation and you can order the service kit from us or you can send in the machine to uh either a registered partner or to to us ourselves and we can perform the service for you and then it's just to register it and then your warranty is extended. 
I think that uh, covers pretty much everything, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, it does. Uh, and and what we also we we uh, encourage people to to fix. If mm. you, for some reason, break the pressure washer, you're welcome to screw in it. Yeah. Uh, as, as long as you don't return it in a bag <laughs> <laughs> with yeah, the right. parts, you're welcome to come back with a, with a warranty claim, even though you've been doing some fixes yourself. Yeah. If you, for some reason, drops it into the ground and something breaks, because that, of course, can happen also with mm. our pressure washer, then you will probably find a, a guide on our website showing how to repair it. Uh, you can buy the spare parts at non-profits uh, from, from our uh, a spare parts company. website, yeah, yeah online. Yeah. So, so, so we think that we should encourage people to take care of the products, making it last, and uh, <clears throat> provide the good experience. Yeah. Can I can I just jump in there? Can I ask? Is there like any special features that you've got with your your pressure washer, maybe compared to some of the other guys? Is like I think your lances are a bit unique and things like that. I, I, I would say that uh, we have gone into all the de details. When yeah. we make a gun, we try to make it different. Mm -hmm. We try to find some uniqueness. Uh, the lance, the nozzles, the brushes, everything is, is, is in some way unique. Um, some things matter, some things does not matter that much. Uh, but for, the, for um, yeah, the standard lance, which is included in, uh, in the pressure washers, it's uh, this uh, system. Uh, it's, a, it's a lance which you can adjust uh, to uh, to uh, to the length you would like. Production value tonight, guys. Oh, that's how you do that. I was playing with that in the garage earlier, and I was like, I, I've not I've looked at the instructions out or anything, and I, I see it on the box. Uh, I think it's got a, it's got like a locking mechanism on it, so it can't jump yeah, out. Yeah, well, I was I was very... twisting it, and then I also noticed that trigger button on it as well. But I wasn't doing the two at the same time. I was like, oh, I'll have a look at this later when I've got more time. <laughs> but I did like the idea of an extendable lance. Um, you for the gun, uh, you have a stair force function, so it's extremely easy to keep the trigger inside, even though it's full pressure. It, you, you barely use any force to, to keep the yeah, trigger inside. Yeah. So first five minutes doesn't matter. When you pass five minutes, it's so much convenient yeah. to use the gun. Yeah. You have uh, if you later on are going to climb uh, climb the ladder, uh, you have, it's possible to hook a carabin hook into the the gun, put mm. it in, into uh, into uh, yeah the uh, pocket there, not pocket. Uh, uh, oh my that. gosh, yeah, that's the word. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that is the word <laughs> to carry it out. Um, uh, the female part of the bayonets, it's it's very different from from everything else in the market. It's a twister system, mm -hmm. so it's so much more easy. Uh, to change the accessory. It's just uh, a quarter uh, twist uh, and then it's uh, the, the accessory is fitted. So I know for many bayonet systems that uh, some people, it's not that strong in the hands, they have difficulties mm -hmm. changing the accessories. But the accessories is, is half the pleasure of doing <laughs> during the cleaning, that you mm -hmm. all, all, always have the correct uh, accessories. Mm -hmm. So it's very easy to change. You also have the possibility to lock uh, and the lock system is important because you probably will use uh, a much longer uh, system compared to uh, to the, the the regular pressure washers. It's much more convenient when you have the long length if you're cleaning close to the ground, up, uh, whatever you do, it will be much more easy. But with the length, you also need the stability. Uh, so therefore, the lock system is important. Uh, uh, same lock system also for the accessories. It's not that important for the nozzle, but if you have maybe the microfiber pad or, or, or mm -hmm. some other ex accessories, then it's so much convenient to, to, to do this. Yeah, and I think uh, it's also worth noting that all the accessories can be used both with the lance directly in the pistol, and um, there are there is some compatibility with uh, other companies that have the similar bayonet lance, Kesher, for example. So if you're um, graduating from a Kesher machine over to an Alva machine, you can keep your accessories with you. So, John, if you're interested in okay. uh, not repairing that diesel, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'll do for you. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, um, and uh, for for uh, for the stability uh, for Ava, uh, I think you would feel it's more stabi uh, about the stability using mm -hmm. the Ava accessory. But still, you will be able to use uh, Kasha. Yeah. But please yeah. consider mm -hmm. always need the nozzle opening, which is fitted for 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 each model. Yeah, yeah. So if you have a small Kasha and go to a big Ava, then the nozzles will be too small, and then you cannot use it. Mm -hmm. But for for, br uh, for maybe for brushes or for for some of the accessories which you might uh, would like to, to to reuse you're welcome to do that yeah 
so, so that, that that was was about uh, the lance and the the, the gun. But mm -hmm. it's so many things. For, for example, we uh, provide a lot of different nozzles because the nozzles is is what uh, transfer the power from the pressure washer to the surface. And if you have a bad nozzle, then you will lose a lot of the power. But if you have the perfect then you really can can increase the, the cleaning power and the efficiency and not least the carefulness of, of the cleaning. So, <clears throat> uh, in uh, when you use um, uh, a pressure washer, the, it's quite common to have a 20 degree spread in the nozzle, but we recommend a 40 degree nozzle when you clean the car because even though you touch both the surface, no, it's not a risk to destroy the painting. So you can clo work close. And working closer, you also will have much less air resistance, uh, and that also helps you to bring uh, the, the 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 maximum power to to the surface. Mm. So mm. I, I cannot document this, but but my opinion is that you uh, in m many times you you can um, achieve maybe half the cleaning time uh, compared to a regular pressure washer. Uh, it's a lot of small details. Uh, bringing the power out. For example, if you have an integrated soap system in the pressure washer, uh, then this system will normally take away approximately 8% of the, uh, the cleaning power from the pressure washer, even though you do not uh, apply the soap at the moment. So, so this system, which narrow, narrows uh, the, 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 the water flow, uh, we've taken it away. So we say, okay, if you're going to clean with the soap, you use the uh, foam cannon. Yeah, I think most of you guys that do detailing would, would have done that already. I imagine that you're a little bit more um, particular with your pressure washing than your average Joe down the road. So, mm. Mm. Definitely. Yeah. Sorry, I'm just reading some of the comments. I'll let you two guys jump in. I'm just reading the comments at the moment. <laughs> so, with, with the, Sorry. With, with the uh, pressure washer that's sitting behind you there, what's the real length of the, of the um, hose? Is that like a 10 meter or...? Yeah. Five meter or? This is the P16. It's equipped with a eight meter a steel reinforced hose. Um, okay. so the Master Series includes three different machines. We're having two in the UK right now. The P16 and our probably most well known product, the P80. And the okay. P80 10, uh, 10 meter included. And uh, okay. we also offer extension hoses uh, up to 20 meters oh, steel reinforced or if, you're, uh, if you don't want to break the bank. And mm. um, you know, really at the end of the day, it's just about getting around the, the uh, edge of the car without having to use an extension cord and just making life a little bit easier. So like <clears throat> saying, we've got an accessory just for pretty much every situation, every job. But uh, it's always about uh, making the possibilities to do an upgrade, to do some, yeah, uh, yeah. some changes yourself. So for the hose reel, it's, uh, it's uh, room for 12 meter. Yeah. So if you buy the 12 meter extension hose, you can take off uh, the, the hose which is included mm -hmm. and you can put on the 12 meter extension hose and then you use that as the main hose, okay. instead, hose instead so it's fully possible to use the 12 meter mm -hmm. and then you probably can have it have the pressure washer parked uh, quite a little distance from the, your car and yeah. still get to night yeah. nice. and so and what 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 series are you planning to bring initially to the uk which which machines are you are you sort of looking to launch in the uk so we're bringing over the Master Series along with the Go Series. The Go Series is kind of over here. I'll put it. You, know, you guys can hear me, but I look like me no matter what. But we'll look at the Go Series <laughs> instead. So the Go Series and Master Series are sort of our two um, starting products. And we're going to be introducing our other series, the Smart Series Evolution, you know, throughout the year 2021. Um, coming to the UK has been interesting, to say it mildly, here in the company. But we're really excited to get everything over to you guys and uh, it's been really fun, you know, just trying to meet new people and the, uh, the sort of the response we've gotten, um, you know, just in the short time we've been over there has just been very positive. So I think uh, I think it's going to be, um, you know, really fun to start getting this stuff into the hands of you guys, the viewers and uh, you three, uh, Bill, Matt and John. Well, I think Matt, Matt's planning to do some kind of pressure washer um, live, well, not live, well, <laughs> video this weekend with, with using one of the Ava yeah, machines. Definitely. Yeah. So that we get some footage of, of our guys actually using it, and we'll be able to sort of give a really good review of it. At that yeah, point and as I well. think what I'm actually going to do as well. I, I, I know in the past we've had like multiple blowers, and our one of the first videos we did, I tried to review them all in one video. I think for this, I'm just going to use one pressure washer, 
per car. <laughs> so, so I'm going to use the, mm. the big um, <clears throat> the P60 this weekend, and I'll go with a go, and then in a few weeks' time try the P50. Um, so yeah, they'll uh, definitely get used. We're going to get used in several videos over the coming <laughs> months, no doubt. My my other pressure washer is going to take a back seat and think it's been forgotten about. <laughs> <laughs> So uh, just just going back to your sort of like accessories, I'm presuming you prov you can provide snow foam bottles, lances. Um, you've got different nozzles that you can put in the air, and you've got some quite unique stuff that I guess it's probably unique to maybe Norway. I know we get some of it here. It is like you've got roof lances that you can actually wash the yeah. roof of your house with and stuff, like really long extendable stuff. Yeah got that i think what i'll show you guys right now is something that we call the flexi lance this is really cool and i think you guys are really like it that work in the car world so this is sort of the perfect product for when you're trying to get over the top you know sort of a larger van or something you know or kind of trying to get underneath the car it's got a, um, it's got it's got a, a handle, handle on it there. that means business <laughs> oh wow hey is yeah, that so, <laughs> yeah so, so it's yeah. so to change the angle, you can clean everywhere. And, and what is, is also unique, mm -hmm. when you change the angle of, of the front, uh, if, for example, if you clean the lower part, uh, maybe at your, uh, you probably would like to have it nice around your car too. Yeah. So, so uh, if you clean the ground, uh, the, the power of the water will lift the lance. So when you have the combination of a zero cross gun and you have uh, this lance together with the, the angle uh, front, then you will um, use almost zero. Yeah, zero force. I mean, to, you're, to, to, you're to washing your house with one finger. That's yeah, really yeah, all it is. Yeah. And so, it's um, yeah. Uh, but, but for the car, it's uh, to yeah. You know, get into get into wheel wells, get onto the top. Um, so we're yeah. getting into those crannies, far away places. Um, Morten and I are lucky. Uh, Norway is a pretty tall nation, but you know, not everyone <laughs> is uh, as lucky. So some of us need a little little hand here and there. So stuff like that can help you out. This here is um, one accessory that we have that also is pretty great for washing cars. It's the microfiber uh, mop, and you can see it has a remove it. it has a removable microfiber mop here, and we offer a couple different ones. This is the universal sort of for um, general use around the car, and then we have a dual action sort of for more uh, grimy areas, sort of closer to the wheels, and then a um, a gentle mop that is great for washing windows or washing glass. So. You can take this off, machine washable, stuff like that. And with water flow here, it just makes life a lot easier. And uh, I should tell a story about this. Yeah. Because uh, you don't know this story. But oh, I'm excited. <laughs> mm. In 2018, when we were going to launch the, the pressure washers in, in, in Norway, uh, we went to the, the, um, this guy, which was called a car wash king in Norway, with the biggest detailer in, in, in Norway, detailing shop in Norway. Uh, and I had made a thousand brushes with water flow. Uh, and I came to him. And I showed the pressure washer. Ah, oh, he loved it so much. And I showed him the accessories, and he loved it. And and ah, we we really need to to, to bring this into our shop. And then I showed him our brush. And then he said, Ah, oh, don't don't I don't want to touch this one. And I said, Ah, oh, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. So so that ten thousand brushes which we had made have never been sold. I, 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 I okay. I, I'm I'm not gonna ruin Ava by, by by introducing this. So so this this was really a mistake. No. Uh, and I uh, and I thought okay, but uh, also if you're gonna clean the car, many times you need some physical t uh, touching of the car. How can we do this the very best way? You can use a sponge, uh, but the sponge is, is one-time thing. We would like something usable. Okay, we would like to use uh, the microfiber. You can easily wash it when each time you, you have cleaned your car. Uh, and and the, the good thing is that uh, since we have this uh, integrated together with the, the pressure washer, you have the water flow going through this all the way. So uh, um, having the water flow uh, flowing through the, the, the microfiber all the way when you're cleaning, then you will not that easy get the dirt fixed into the, the microfiber. Still, uh, we sell this uh, four pieces packages, and when I clean my own car, I always use one <laughs> microfiber in, in the lower part, another one in the top part. So, so I know well, it's, it's a lot of opinions how to <laughs> to clean your car in, in, in a good way and don't destroy the painting and so on. Yeah. But I really believe that this system is a, is a good system. Yeah. So for those which share our opinion on that, uh, I would recommend this as a, as a very nice way to, 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 to clean. Yeah, I think it's uh, time for us to go to the little video we had, unless you had a question, John. I, I was just going to say, those would be great for uh, caravans and motorhomes. Yeah, definitely.
yeah, yeah that's what that I was sort of thing, being able to reach up on and reach you, up high on trucks, those. like wash stations, things like that. There's a there's one yeah. near us actually, just around the yeah. corner. Um, yeah, <clears throat> they, they, and I was actually thinking that that extended um, lands, my conservatory has been getting neglected. That's going to be perfect for mm. that, rather yeah. than just putting on like the white what? nozzle, not the white nozzle, the yellow orange nozzle, and hoping to just blast it from a distance. <laughs> Can reach up there. Well, I think that's yeah. key, isn't it? It's you know, pressure washers aren't just used for cars. I mean, I, I don't know about you guys, but I certainly use my pressure washer for cleaning yeah. the patio and various other bits and pieces. And and you look like you've got all of those sort of bases covered with the extra accessories that yeah, you have definitely. there. But no, that that telescopic yeah. lens, mm. like I said, ideal from a, from a lot of detailing. Yeah, if you if you're on the shorter side, you might need it, um, especially for. I like Range Rover SVR that I did a few weeks ago. Come in handy for that, but definitely if you've got a a long wheelbase, high top, you know, LDV van or a yeah. Fiat Cat or whatever they are these days. Yeah, it's yeah. definitely handy. Uh, I've got a couple of questions I'm just going to reel off first, if that's all right. We've got one from, I want to butcher this name, G Jekka Mikkel. I don't know, he's Czech. Jekka <laughs> Michael. There we go. I'm English. P <laughs> P60 on the web says pressure is 145 bars maximum. He wants to know what is the working pressure of the P60. Uh, it's approximately 120, 120 bar. Cool. Uh, a lot are asking for prices and where to buy, but we'll get onto that in a moment. We'll make them wait a bit more for prices. <laughs> uh, Stay tuned. Pretty good deals definitely. here. So. I've, I've actually written a couple of them down. And another quick question for the time being, we'll let you carry on, is are there separate... Are there separate machines for domestic and trade? So obviously with, with Karcher, you normally have trade machines and um, domestic machines. You've probably got a trade machine, haven't you, John? Um, uh, yeah, Karcher Professional and Karcher. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, so uh, Arva, do they the have gray, separate? The, the grey ones and then the yeah. yellow ones. Uh, we have domestic machines and we don't have professional ones. Mm. And, and that is simply because we would like to provide the best one for the domestic. Uh, for professionals, it, it should have a much as a, a professional one should be used many hours a day. A consumer uh, domestic machine is, is not uh, normally uh, expected to, to run that much. Uh, so our running time is, is significantly longer than, than uh, uh, the normal uh, domestic machines, yeah. but but still, it's it's uh, some bit up to the professional ones. Cool. And did you say you guys say you've got a video you wanted to play? Do you want to run that now? I suppose. Yeah. yeah. Sure. Cool. So we'll throw that on, and me and Martin are gonna do some live commentary. Oh right. <laughs> so I leave that for, for William because <laughs> this is running fast. Yeah. So <laughs> we'll, we're gonna call this video "Indecisive Man." And wash his car. Um, <laughs> so I don't know if you guys can see it up on your screen uh, here. It's not come through um, just yet. Is it coming? Yeah, we got it now. Yeah, yeah great. So uh, <laughs> we went and we found the dirtiest car, which just so happened to be Morton's daughter's car. So that's great. We even found it with a dent in it just to make uh, <laughs> nice on the cake. This is real life. Yeah. So, you know, here it is, packed up machine. You can see the the follow me uh, hose reel. It really just follows you around. Morton, he doesn't know where he wants to wash it, walking all over Wait, the I'm just going to interrupt you guys. We've, uh, we just, we're not getting the video feed coming through onto Skype at the moment. No, no, it's not coming through onto our Skype at the moment. Uh, <laughs> I don't know what's quite happened there. Uh, give me one second. Let me see if I can just do something my end. Sorry about this, everybody watching. <laughs> we'll sort this out. Uh, let me just try something else. Uh, what we're looking at. Let's try this one. Shared screen. Sorry, I think I might have sorted it now, guys. Let's have a quick look. There we go. I've got the video back up and running. So if you want to start that again, <laughs> yeah, yeah, we've got yeah, that. We've yeah, got that here yeah. now for the guys at home. So, so we are we are showing, off, showing sort of just sort of product. In product in we want to do it live. We do it live. The weather, the weather, the weather is so unpredictable. So unpredictable. But, we've got, but here, we've got here a nice, a nice sort of uh, run of the mill car, 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 there just for fun, fun. And, um, and um, you know, the gun, you know, the gun onboard, storage, onboard storage, you can see the follow me, um, um, pose reel sort of going all over the place, place. Nice storage on the top, the top zoom lamps, noting, noting. Um, um, you can see, you can that, see Morton that Morton here, he starts, starts off going for just the short nose, and then he decides he wants to go for the zoom lamps, so you can really see in the moment, you know, you have all these options, all these choices, so really it's, anyone can wash the way they want with all the product, and so here he decides to start off just zoom lamps, always foam, always foam, 
when we first started washing, washing, washing a car. So he so changed the settings, the settings here, smiley face, smiley face good, good to go, and, and nice effect, nice effect holding. holding. This, 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 this all, all are included, are included with all of the, uh, the uh, large bundles of pressure washers. Nice and good filming so you really see them over and over. It really stays on the side of the car for quite some time. When you're at takes nice storage, nice storage there, slopes, which is over to the 40 degree nozzle, place in the place. You can see how short time it takes. Time it takes where you just switch from one part to another. Nice little smile there. Here we go. What do I want to go? What do I want to use? I want to use the zoom lens. Do I want to use the 40 degrees? Let's use all of it. Getting nice up and close to you with the pistol. Getting nice up and close to you with the pistol. Pistol. Real well. Real well. Getting in crannies and crannies. You know. You can imagine if you had to use a long nose here, your back would already be hurting all the time. You don't want to. So this is really. So this is really just to save yourself and to save yourself time. Getting in between all of the crannies here. You can see the. You can see the foam still hanging on quite nicely. Working as long. Working as long as it needs to work. And then, and then here, more than here, standing, more straight, standing up, straight up, getting nice and getting close. Nice and close. Um, um, as we described, as we you know, described, you know, you can use the 40 degrees, degrees and, and get up nice and close and, uh, and sort of wash uh, more, more effectively. More effectively. We, call it, uh, we call it sort of the Alvo 1, 2, 3. Um, so um, getting, up, so nice getting up nice and close, reducing the distance, distance, distance wider, washing wider, foaming, foaming first. first. And you know, I mean, you, you know, guys, I mean, you guys, detailers, you, detailers, you know how to wash a car a lot better than I do. I'm not going to comment too much on too much how, 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 how we're washing here. You know, it's more for demonstration purposes. But, um, but um, here we have the mop. Here we have the mop in use. Same zoom lens. Same zoom lens. Worth noting. Worth noting. Also, zoom lens can be used sort of halfway. You don't have to go all the way in or all the way out. So here, you know, here, you know, there's a lot of extra gunk, a little bit of water, a little bit of water flow, a little bit of sort of scrubbing. You can scrubbing. You can really get rid of the worst. Get rid of the worst of it down there on the bottom. So. It really just makes it really just easier. makes life easier. And as I mentioned, there's three different mops we have: one for uh, sort of general use, and then one for glass and sort of fragile surfaces. Another one for more, I would say, built up dirt. Would you say so, Morton? Yeah. Yeah. And um, they sell we sell them into four packs, so you get two of the universals. So and machine washable, mm -hmm. as I mentioned, so perfect for every wash. Um, get a great view of the cameraman there and mm -hmm. the reflection. And you can see the flex lance in use with the mop. Um, really nice, uh, perfect uh, sort of showing up here. I think what's what's really nice here that a lot of people don't re uh, think about is that uh, the handle can also be swapped to both sides. I'm left-handed, and let me tell you, I live in a right-handers world, and it annoys me. So being able to switch that handle, Morton here has a left hand, but if you use the pistol in your left hand, you can switch the handle yeah. over to the right. But here you can see the flex lance used another way, sort of upside down, getting into the sort of backs of the wheels here, behind the wheel wells, and uh, underneath the car, too. I think that really just kind of uh, covers the, what we wanted to share. You know, just sort of show the product off in use. Um, like I said, you guys know how to wash a car, so I won't tell you how to do that. But um, I think with all the products, it just becomes that much easier. And, um, of course, you know, we're, we're working pretty close, but you can imagine as you're walking around the car, that follow me hose reel, it makes it so the machine doesn't tip over. Uh, nothing is more annoying when you're at the end of that patio or whatever driveway and suddenly your machine falls over, you walk over, pick it up, move it around. It's just a hassle, so you, you can avoid that. We don't have any sound in this video, but because of the, um, four, the four pistons inside the motor, it's significantly quieter than sort of the competitors for the Kesha mm -hmm. and the Neofisk. So, yeah, there now you have the crash course in uh, sort of how to wash one fourth of Morton Starter's car. So that's very exciting. <laughs> that looks really good, and the whole my whole screens have just messed up here. So if those at home can just bear with me a second, I'll get this all adjusted. Any more feedback from you two guys, Bill and John? No, I was I'm just looking at the, the the video there, and I'm thinking that they the lance that you can bend and stuff underneath the car looks yeah, like a really good definitely. bit of kit. Um, and, and, and the spread of the 40 degree angle looks like it's going to pressure wash perfectly to get rid of foam and stuff like that. Because sometimes I think we're all, we all do it. We, we put a little bit too much foam on the car. So to actually get rid of some of the foam is, is probably good. And that looked like I had a really good um, spread on, on, on the nozzle there. Yeah, I think the, the one thing was, when the pressure wash, they are made to clean the patio, they're not made to clean the car. <laughs> like that at least. So uh, when the customer asks us how to, we, they can solve this, uh, we ha have, for example, uh, made on demand uh, um, accessory swivel. Yeah. So, so 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 what you can do is that we have this one, putting in between the nozzle and the lance, and then you can rotate just the slight the way you like it. So instead of having to 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 uh, to use the gun sideways yeah 
the nozzle and then you can clean much more uh, healthy for, for your for your body and for your shoulders mm -hmm. and, and so on so it's it's lots of these small details which you will find in ava <clears throat> and and uh, i think that you can almost pick any accessory <laughs> and i can tell you a few things which we have thought and we've done uh, different in, in in some way and it's mm -hmm. all the things together which makes the, the the big difference yeah you know it's the it's the one percent over over time that build up into that 150 200 percent more or better of an experience and so i think um we can stand here and talk for hours but really you just need to get your hands on these things and try them out and i think uh if i'm allowed to segue yeah. here for a moment um guys take a look at alva of norway.com slash detailing world because we have some pretty good uh discounts going on right now uh, launching in the UK. We're launching through Amazon. Uh, we're working on getting our own uh, web shop going. And the FlexiLance, as we mentioned, we have a 40% discount going on that. So you can grab yourself one for £45 instead of the normal £89. Um, car care kits with the P60, I think, is going for £299 right now. That's 40% um, off the normal price of just a P80, yeah. a P60, excuse me. So that's savings. And uh, you can get the pre orders in now. Where our, uh, our shipments are coming just here the next week. So we're trying to get them out as soon as we can, but you know, we want to we get these machines in your hands. We want you to test them. We want to get your feedback over on the forums and get the conversations rolling there. What's, what do you like? What, what can we fix? You know, we're, we're a new company, if I can say so myself. Um, I, at least I'm newer here than Morton is. He's the guy that started the place. But we're still ready to you know, change things. If, you, if everyone says, oh, just do this little one thing, no problem. We can, we can get that going for the next uh, delivery. And... Um, to borrow a little pizzazz from Amazon, you have a 30-day return window. So really, there's nothing yeah. to worry about. Just, just try one yeah. out, get your hands on it, and give it a go. And if you like it, well, you, you, yeah, it's a good buy. I think you've got a discount on the Go series as well, haven't you? Which is, is, right. is yeah. down to like one ninety nine or something. Uh, um, all the accessories we could fit in one box is how I'll describe <laughs> it. So that's possible. Um, it's a mystery, to be honest, what's in there. We've got pictures and all this stuff, but there's just so much going on. You've got the nozzle kit, you've got the microfiber pad, you've got a couple of extra fixed nozzles, and that's going now for, if I'm uh, not mistaken, 199 instead of the normal 359 pounds. And so, I mean, that's yeah. that's a steal right there. So the fact that we're uh, the fact that we're throwing things out there, you know, this is a pretty pretty exciting time for us. We're we're really excited to just get this stuff yes. into you guys' hands. And so, like I said, detailers, they're they're a tricky bunch. You're you're a particular, if I can say so. <laughs> we want to get your we want to get your feedback, you know, down to the detail. Oh, you know, it was great in my car, but I was washing my patio, and I think this would really help. You know, write us that essay, write us that that letter, uh, give us your feedback. We like we like the five stars, but we you know we learn most from the one star reviews too. Let's put it that cool. way. So. Uh, well, a lot of the questions Perfect. are uh, about price and where to buy from. So, I think yeah. I've answered. Partly the price you you mentioned at the moment it's just purchasing through Amazon. So um, yeah, we'll put links. I know people asking for them. We'll put links to the other websites. That's where you're going to get the discount and to Amazon. Um, I'm just going to quickly go through the prices as well. I know you just touched on a couple there. So the P80, um, that one normal price five four nine. Um, the offer for detailable members is three nine nine. With the discount code RVDWP80. Again, all this will be in the description below anyway, or just rewind this video 10 seconds. Um, the Master P60, which I believe is the one stu uh, stood between William and Morton there, that is normal price 449 and detailing world price is 299. Um, discount code for that is RVDWP60. Let's have a look what else we've got. The Go series, which is the first one that you showed us, uh, three forty nine is the regular down to one ninety nine. So that's a forty three percent discount. That's a that's a bloody good discount to be fair. <laughs> Almost mm. close to half price. That's RVDWP fifty five is the discount code. And um, what's the the Flexi Lance offer that you mentioned as well? Yeah, regular price eighty nine pounds down to forty nine forty five pound discount forty five percent discount of a dw flexi so yeah i'll put all those links in the description below guys so um how long are this these offers running for because i imagine uh, <laughs> there might be a limited time on though and obviously there's a limited stock in the uk at the moment so we get the next delivery <laughs> so mm. so want to run these here for two or three weeks we're going to share some more details in the forum uh we're going to try to stick around and answer yeah. questions there too but you know, the thought is that we just want to get the stuff in your hands right away 
um, and sort of get the ball rolling there. So as, as you said yourself, we're, you know, we can only send so many things. And so we've got, I think we've got around 250 of each, the P80 and the P60 uh, coming. And so get your hands on that. And the, there's, I think, around 64 of the limited editions coming in now. But I mean, if you guys order them all tonight, you, you, uh, <laughs> bet the bottom. So don't hesitate. Um, I will just say that some of the codes um, are turning on here at 8 p.m. Okay. British time. And now I think it's 7 5. So if you're, uh, if you're already putting in your credit card, just give it a couple of minutes. And if you're having a problem, just send us a message um, through, through your Amazon accounts or get in contact with our website. We'll sort it out, you know, customer right. to customer. And, so. um, I, don't know about, I don't know if Bill and John have received those. I'm looking forward to using these. Uh, go on, John. Crack on. <laughs> Uh, I was going to say, Matt, some people are saying it's double audio. Sorted. That was from when we had the video feed coming in. No, it's do it. They're saying it's it still again. coming through, is it? Give me one second. I don't know why there's double audio. Um, right, so the audio issue should be sorted. I can't see any other audio feed. Hopefully that is sorted, guys, and hopefully those that are commenting are just oh, watching five or ten minutes behind from when we had the video playing earlier a uh, quick question for you though john if i can find it and you know i'm pretty sure you've seen this question because you adjusted your camera nice uh i don't know where it's gone i can't remember who asked it but where can we buy one of those wash wednesday t-shirts the oh, rank don't company have them. Them. dot com in america <laughs> however I will be getting some of them over in the UK, so you can get them from Cleaner China. So I'm sure that'll be announced on Instagram. They'll be, they'll, they'll come in and then they'll be of gone by the weekend. Yeah. So. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. Cool. Uh, let me just quickly. Any more questions from you two guys? Just whilst I uh, scroll through the comments. No, I'm just looking forward to to getting mine when when they pop over in the next week or so and uh, giving it a go over the weekend. I think they they, they look a really good solid piece of kit. So I'm really looking forward to giving them a go. We've got Mike Buckham. I've only just joined this live stream, so I might as well miss this. Uh, but what is the USP of these pressure washers? Yeah, that's what this entire video has been about. <laughs> you might want to rewind about 45 minutes. A um, lot of key things coming out of this. So um, that telescopic lance um, looks really nice. And just like I said, I, I've spent about 10 minutes just opening them up in the garage earlier. And they feel, the, the general build quality feels really nice on first impressions. Um, but everything I think we we've seen tonight looks really, really nice. And you you have to remember they've got they've, they've got oh, a twenty year warranty as well. That is that, big, that, yeah. Which is massive. Which is really you know yeah. you're not th you're not throwing this kit away after five years or two years or whatever. You, you know you, this is a solid piece of kit that should last you. And uh, a that, while. That, de that deal at one nine nine. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, That's exactly. Like Robert Corrins, the audio is fixed. Blah blah blah. On the subject of using the brush attachment on my car, I don't fancy it in case it drags dirt and scratches. Um, but it does look powerful. Well, to be fair, I thought that, but it's my, it is user choice, but it's microfiber. It actually looks like a noodle mitt other people would probably use to wash the car with anyway. And you're just going to get that flow of water yeah. pushing debris away while you're cleaning. So it probably... Yeah. I, I might try it on my car. That'll be fun. I might also try and get my grandma to service it as well, because that might go viral. <laughs> well, I think as John 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 said uh, John said earlier, didn't he, about using those those things on caravans and and tool motorhomes, type, yeah. motorhomes and that sort of thing, where you yeah. can't reach unless you get a ladder out. It, it does save you that time that you can use yeah. it on things like that. So and and they come with four different types of mitt, so yeah. you can change that mitt on a regular basis. You could do one swipe, take it off, put yeah. a new one on, and so on if you if you wanted to. So you can change them up. So I think you know it might be just. Something new we all need to look at and have a go with. I think so. Mm. I think so, definitely. Like I said, I'm looking forward to trying it. I'm sure you too, when you get hold of yours, uh, you'll be looking yeah. forward to giving yours a try. Absolutely. So. I'm looking looking forward to not getting sorry. <laughs> I'm just going to see if <laughs> any more questions. We've got no more questions coming on comments. Um, so I'm just checking through. Oh, we've got one from the forum. Uh, would they run off a water tank? Or... Yeah, all the all the armor pressure washers are self priming, and so we even sell a self priming, um, self priming hose. I can help you out with that, so that shouldn't be any problem. I should recommend the self priming hose because yeah. uh, if if you use just regular hose, the water would go back and each time you you release mm. the gun. So this uh, this special hose, mm. it's it's a good investment if you plan to 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 use it to yeah. just without pressure from uh, from a tank or, mm. or something. 
so that's a good, yeah, Mike, good thing. Mike Buckham has joined us late. If I'm correct, the 20 year service guarantees are the 20 year guarantee is only if it's serviced once every five years. Where can they be servicing at what cost? You can service them yourself. That's why it was just the joke there about your grandma servicing them. Um, Arva, yeah, as long as you service it every five years, replace the O rings and a few other bits and bobs you, you mentioned, then they, they, they're good to they'll be covered by the warranty. Um, yeah. As long as they're on every five years, basically, which is not too difficult. You know, this, the ceilings inside a pump. Uh, that, that if you have a lot of sand in the water, or some uh, such things, uh, then the ceilings yeah. can be worn out earlier. So, in special circumstances, you yeah. might have to take the service before the five year. But to to keep the warranty on the machine, then we say you should take it at least every five year. Yeah. Uh, and and probably uh, the pump will last uh, will last a lot longer than five years. But uh, I also think that. If, would like to take care of the product yeah. when you take this service you also have a good look at, at the other parts parts and i think that's it's a part of, of taking yeah. care of the yeah. product yeah. that you, you 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 get to know it a bit cool I, I think that answers Definitely. everything for me and you two guys any more questions or are we all good yeah. I don't know. All, all good. good. So yeah. thanks very much, William and Morton, for joining us this evening. Thanks to Bill and John as well for also joining. So yep, been yeah, quite educational and uh, thoroughly enjoyable. So um, yeah, absolutely. yeah, definitely good look forward to using this. Um, if you have enjoyed this video, make sure you are subscribed to this channel as well. So yeah, thanks again to Arva for joining us, Bill and John, and we'll see you in the next one. Thanks, guys. Thank guys. Bye. Ended.